Hey guys, I picked up one of the new MAC pigments that came out for the holiday season this year and created this look, so I hope you like it. Hey, so the pigment set that I got, there were three shades. I got the purple, so it comes with three pigments and a glitter. Now the first thing I'm going in with is my soft ochre paint pot and I'll just be priming my eyelids. I'm just going to set that paint pot with some translucent powder so then that way it makes the shadows a lot easier to blend instead of sticking to the paint pot. I'm using my Morphe Jaclyn Hills palette and going in with this neutral brown which I'm just going to put through the crease as a transition shade. Now I'm going in with a slightly darker brown and just placing it in the same spot, uh, blending through and then I grab my other, other brush and blend in between. Now I'm going in with Bitten by Makeup Geek, which is one of my favorite shades. I feel like I use it in every video. And I'm just placing this a bit more deeper in the crease, mainly focused on the outer edge, and then whatever excess product I have, I'll bring into the inner corner. Here I'm just grabbing a fluffy brush with no additional product and just blending bitten out so there aren't any harsh lines. Going in with this frosty white shade in the palette, I'm just using this to highlight my brow bone. Going in with one of the new MAC pigments, I think this is Kitchmas, Kitmas, something like that. It's this beautiful pink and it has some silver through it. So I'm just placing that on the lid. Um, I wasn't going to put as much and then I dropped the bottle on my lap and I spilt some so I figured I may as well use it. <laughs> Now this is my favourite shade out of all of them, it's called Pink Opal, it's white and it has an iridescent pink through it, it is the prettiest colour. So I'm just popping that on the inner corner um, quite heavily, I think I wet my brush and just made it a bit more, um, a bit more intense. So I'm just wiping off any fallout because that pink one had quite a bit that dropped out onto my face before doing my face. For eyeliner, I wanted to try this um, liquid pen. I got it on the Priceline sale. It came as like a free gift. Um, I don't find it actually too bad to do. I find it a lot easier to do a thinner line on the top than my gel. Sometimes all it takes is one little slip up and then you've just got really thick liner when you didn't want it. But um, yeah, so far so good. For lashes, I'm using these ones by um, Glam by Manicare. They're in the shade, uh, in the shade, <laughs> in the style Alessandra. Um, they are gorgeous. They're like, they're like mink lashes, but a cheaper version. I think, I think they're like at the most maybe like thirteen dollars, which I would pay because I've worn these numerous times. And just to show you how much of a difference they make, that is with and without a lash, like crazy. As always, I'm using my Nivea Men Aftershave Balm for my primer. For foundation today, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match in Golden Ivory, the lightest shade there is. 
haven't been able to put this down since I picked it up in the Priceline sale. It is amazing. I love the coverage and it's long wear on my oily skin. There is a um, first impression coming, so keep an eye out for that. For concealer, it's my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, so I'm just putting that under my eyes and in the places that I want to highlight. I don't usually do this but I wanted to try and bake my under eyes because I've heard that it's really good uh, to not get the creases. It does suck when you get translucent in your eye though, like really bad. To set the rest of my face I'm using my Fresh and Flawless Powder by Astralis which is an oily girl's dream. This controls my oil like no other powder, it is so good. As you can see, I've already done my brows. Um, they just take a long time, so I figured if someone wants to see that, I can do it. Um, I'm just going in with a couple of shades that I put in the crease on the lower line, uh, just to define the eyes. I'm just touching up the inner corner of my eyes a bit more. I didn't want to lose that color, and then just putting a cream eyeliner in my waterline just to open up the eyes. For contouring, I have found my new shade. If you are fair, you will love this. Uh, this is Essence and it's an eyeshadow called My Favourite Torping and it is so good. Um, someone recommended it and I mean even not on sale, it's only a couple of dollars but I will definitely be repurchasing. It's got that perfect ash tone to mimic an actual shadow on your face. Um, and I'm just going in with some Hula Bronzer just to bronze up my complexion. Now I'm not sure how well you can see it here but I've actually used that pink opal shade to highlight on my cheekbones. Um, I do have another video where it's coming where it shows up a lot better but basically when you hit the light it just shows that pink just for something different. I just like how it looks. For lips, I am using this um, matte effect liquid lipstick, oh sorry just checking out my glow if you can see that, um, I'm using this matte liquid lipstick by Essence, um, I think it dries matte if you don't put as much on, I found that like if I pat it a bit oh, and it smelled really nice that um, it did go a bit more on the matte side but it doesn't technically dry like an Astralis or a, a proper liquid lipstick like that. Just setting everything with my e.l.f. setting spray and that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do have a second look coming using a couple more of those pigments so keep an eye out for that and I will see you in my next one. Bye!